Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add some depth to a plain flat texture using Photoshop's lighting effects filter. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see how everything was put together and have a photo to work with if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. So here's our texture that we're going to be working with and it's pretty cool looking but it's really flat and we want to fix that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is duplicate my background. That way I have a copy to go back to just in case I want to start over. So I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate that. And then I'm going to come up here and click Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. And I'm going to come up here and choose Default just so I can show you guys the settings. So if I zoom out a little bit, I can then click on these points and move my light around to make it look like it's coming from the top left corner. And by clicking these side points here, I can make it a little fatter. That way the light shows up on my texture a little bit more. Now over here in the properties, I'm going to come down to ambience and turn that up just a little bit. That way the black areas aren't quite black and just darker. And then I'm going to kind of tweak my light here just so I get the best looking effect. Now if I zoom back in and then come over here to texture, you'll see that it's set to none. Now if I click that, I can choose between either the red, the green, or the blue channel. So I'm going to choose red. And nothing's changed yet, but if I come down to this height slider and turn it up to about 2, you'll see that we start getting some 3D depth to our texture. And that's because the lighting effects filter is using the red channel to decide which areas are going to pop up and which areas are going to be pushed back in our 3D lighting effects. Now that our lighting effects are done, I'm just going to come up here and hit OK. So already you can see a huge difference between the before and the after. So I'm going to double click this new layer up here and choose Inner Glow. And I'm going to set that blend mode to Linear Burn. Then I'm going to change the size all the way up to about 250 and increase the range to about 75. And that will give us kind of a more rounded corner on our Inner Glow. Then I'm going to change the color kind of to a burnt rust color, maybe a dark red orange. Hit OK and bring the opacity down till it's barely noticeable, maybe about 10% and hit OK. And that's pretty much it. You can see how with just a couple steps we've totally transformed our flat texture into something a lot more dynamic and interesting. Now you can come in and add things like text and other elements and you'll have a lot more interesting photo. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.